Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So as you can see, I've already shuffled the cards. We can begin. So the very first card that I'm looking at is reflecting your energy. With this particular card, I get the impression that many of you may have been at a point in terms of this connection where you are offering this individual love. I feel like you came in to this person's life for a reason. Now, why I'm saying this is because the nature of this card is indicating the need of healing. And your energy is on a much higher vibration than this individual's energy. This particular energy is giving me the impression that, you know, this person was suffering through something. They were in a place in which they were having a very hard time in their life. And I feel like it could either be loneliness. It could be that, you know, things weren't working out the way they wanted it to. It could be that this individual was suffering in silence, but I feel like you recognize that. There's something about your energy being drawn to their energy, a feeling as if, you know, you have to heal this person, you have to make things right, you have to give them the love that they never had, or perhaps that was taken from them, you know, people go through all sorts of things in their life, but I feel like this individual was numb to the world, I'm picking up their energy right now, and it appears to me that, you know, there was a lot of pain there inside of them, but the pain was restricted, it wasn't like a heartbreak, it wasn't a heartache, it was like someone suffering out of loneliness, isolation, sadness, Let's get an oracle card, okay? I feel like you were led to this individual for a reason. Yeah, I'm picking up this energy that this picture of this relationship, it's much bigger than you've ever anticipated. There's a reason and purpose of why you were led towards this individual's life. This is talking about big picture thinking. And by looking at all the pictures of the stars, I get the impression here that, you know, somewhere along the line, the two of you were meant to meet each other, okay? So the term visionary, it's clearly depicted on this card. It is interrelated without a doubt. Now, I don't feel like the word visionary relates to either you or this individual. It's relating to a higher force, a higher power, without a doubt, okay? Visionary is all about something that is being planned ahead of time. And... Since it's being planned ahead of time, it obviously is lending itself to, you know, a force of nature. It could be called God. It could be called, you know, the universal energy stepping in. It has a bigger plan in the situation. That's what I'm picking up from these cards. And it's very much connected to this healing energy between you and this individual. You were brought into this individual's life for a reason. They could have prayed for someone to come in and to uh, rescue them or to help them or to uplift them, pick them up from the difficulty that they were experiencing. So I feel like for many of you, you might not be aware of it, but you have an angelic force in this person's life. And you're definitely, you know, someone that is being guided by a higher power. And you may not even know it, okay? So I feel like this individual may have been rejecting your love or they could have been, you know, too afraid to take it, too afraid to grab hold of it and to say, you know, I need you. I need you to be a part of my life. I love you. I care for you. And I feel like there's something that's preventing them from doing that. Let's find out what it is.
For those of you that are interested in learning to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. So I feel like this individual at one point in their life, they had a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of passion. They were moving towards life, you know, excited, full of joy. They were this type of individual that was untainted, undamaged, okay? In fact, I feel like this individual wasn't down on their knees like this before, okay? And this is an energy that is representing who their core nature is, to follow their heart, to do whatever it takes, you know, to make things happen. I'm picking up this energy of passion. I'm picking up this energy of, you know, life force in its purest form, okay? And I feel like something came along and occurred in this person's life that caused them to disconnect from their emotions, you see, this energy is all about passivity. It's all about being mysterious. It's all about being alluring and being, you know, at a distance to other people. It's observing, but not really doing anything. It's gathering information, but not really doing anything. It feels like this individual, you know, along the way, they got disconnected from their emotions, but, you know, very much connected to their own intellect. This particular card could also be a symbol of spirituality. So I feel like, you know, there was one point in this person's life where they felt so lost. They may have turned to religion or they may have been looking for answers as to, you know, what was going on within them. It is possible that this person may have been hurt from someone or they may have, you know, due to their social circumstances, had certain things that uh, shaped their point of view in a certain way. And that's why there's this loneliness and sadness. It's very likely that the person you're dealing with was a, a very determined individual working very hard you know, getting things done in their life and then someone may have come and upset the balance. You see, this individual, something happened in their life. It could have been a love connection that was very frustrating. And I feel like they had some sort of a, an epiphany, but it led to a fixed mindset. A fixed mindset wasn't really, you know, uplifting to their soul. It, it's like an individual who says, Love is never for me, or I'll never find a person that is right for me. You know, it's that belief system. And so I feel like they alienated themselves from people around them. Yeah, I'm getting the impression from this individual that, you know, their happiness in their life came to a huge standstill because they may have felt as if, you know, the good things in life were not for them, which is quite sad. So I feel like this individual was very broken in a way and you came into their life for a purpose. And it, it's not to say that, you know, they were having money problems. For some of you, they may have. But this could also be emotional emptiness as well. You know, when people are emotionally empty, they go through things that other people don't really see. And some people keep it on the inside. And I see this individual was doing that. So I feel like, you know, you came into this person's life to heal them, to nurture them, to give them care and affection, but it feels as if they left, okay? They might not have been ready for it, or they might have been, you know, very suspicious of you, looking at you and thinking to yourself, like, what does this person want? Why is this person being nice to me? You know, this was what was going on in the back of their mind. Even if you were communicating with this individual, they were second guessing your intention. They were second guessing and doubting what you were trying to bring into their world. Let me see, heartbreak and pain. They would rather have, you know, drowned in their heartbreak, pain and sadness and their emotional emptiness than to have accepted the love that you were giving. It feels as if they didn't feel strong enough to fight what you were bringing into their world. You see, power struggles. This individual trying to stand up and say, no, this individual is coming in to, you know, cause havoc or coming in to, um, what's the word? cause illusions, things of that nature. This person is coming in to trick me. So I don't feel like this individual was uh, feeling 
that you were being 100% authentic. I feel like they were doubting you. And in the back of their mind, they could have been fearful in some shape or form that you would put an end to the connection eventually or that good things don't last for them, sadly. Okay. If you're enjoying this reading, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what's going on in your life. Yeah, I feel like you took a chance on this love and this individual wasn't accepting of it. You had so much passion and a desire for them. And I feel like their behavior made you feel very confused. You were wondering like, why would this... Why would the universe bring you an individual that wasn't wanting to accept your love? It feels as if you were moving forward, full steam ahead. Maybe you were reaching out more than this individual. You wanted to change the situation. And the reason is because you felt a connection to this person. And I'm seeing this individual sitting in a place feeling very much uh, oblivious to what you're trying to bring into their world, okay? So let's clarify these energies. For those of you that are unaware, there is an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Yeah, you see, this is your energy. It feels like they were not accepting of the love that you had to offer. They were heavily stressed, stuck in the past as well, right? Things were falling apart for them. You see, they were feeling defeated and they were feeling very much trapped. And the universe was coming in and saying, I'm bringing you change. I'm bringing you a new chapter, a new person, someone to fill your, your heart with love, someone to take care of you, someone to give you what you've never had before, you know? You've been so broken. You've been on this low vibration for such a long time. I'm here to uplift you. And this individual is like, no, I don't trust it. I don't trust this person. I don't trust this process. And so the changes that were coming forward is indicating to me this individual had a hard time accepting them. Yeah. All this person had to do was just accept the love that you had to offer. But instead, I feel like, you know, they were just refusing it. I feel like from your energy, you're open to communicating with this individual. Yeah, but, you know, this individual not accepting your attempts has hurt you to a large extent. I do feel like a lot of you have been through a lot, you know, but I'm sensing here from your energy that nothing has been taken away from you in the sense that you're not a stronger person. I do feel like many of you are starting to realize the power and impact you have on people's life. And you're starting to see that, you know, God is using you as an instrument to heal this individual and to perhaps heal the world. So you need to get in touch with that. In the extended reading, I'm going to be exploring, you know, what else is this individual going through? What is the right way to move? I'm going to be providing advice and uh, telling you exactly what you need to do in order to connect with this individual to do the healing work that uh, is needed in this situation. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day and take care.